Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you may have already heard Nvidia finally allowed us to have a FreeSync capable monitors work with their graphics cards. And it's been kind of one of those things where they forced you to use G-Sync monitors, even though that the cards are capable of running the open standard that is FreeSync. So they're calling it Adaptive Sync and uh, AMD were calling it FreeSync, I believe, because they were just trying to emphasize that you don't have to pay for it. Now, in NVIDIA's defense, most people would argue that G-Sync is the more superior technology, but at the same time, it comes with quite the hefty price premium. Now, they are saying some monitors are not um, compatible with this. I'm currently using the Philips 436M6VBPAB. <sighs> That's a tongue twister. Um, so this is a 4K 60 Hertz monitor VA panel. It's got HDR support, full 1000 nits brightness. So it's got decent HDR support, 4 million seconds gray to gray. And um, it's super responsive, decent gaming monitor. And it does have adaptive sync. Now I've got an RTX 2080 Ti, so I wasn't able to take advantage of this technology, but now I can. So I'll show you how to enable it. Now you just go under the display tab, you go down to set up G-Sync. Now, if your monitor is available, it will show up down here. So you can enable it for full screen mode and windowed and full screen mode. I've opted to do for both. And then it allows you to select enable settings for selected display model. So uh, my model was able to do it. If you still can't do it, you can actually go to your 3D settings and go down on the global um, tab and then click monitor technology and make sure it says G-Sync compatible so if you can do any of those things you should be able to use it now Nvidia is saying out of 400 monitors they've tested only 10 have been um, deemed compatible or fully compatible with G-Sync so you can have side effects like blinking uh, colors just looking disorientated and some other things as well so far my experience has been okay so I'll show you a few games and how it looks. The good thing about this monitor is I actually can maintain using HDR even with adaptive sync um, enabled. So that's a good thing for me. And uh, as you can see, um, it's super smooth. There's no uh, what we would call tearing when your frames per second don't match your refresh rate or you know it's out of sync. And between 60 and 48 frames per second, uh, things are just super smooth and with an RTX 2080 Ti you don't really see much dips below 50 frames per second which is decent for me so it's just enhanced my experience really so I'm just gonna let you guys see the games and um, see how smooth it looks I mean this is Assassin's Creed now um, one of the more demanding games I actually had to very limited in the titles I could use because um, the RTX 2080 Ti while overclocked is uh, such a beast it does really hold 60 fps at 4k like in pretty much every game now there are games like Assassin's Creed that you can see here where you do see dips also with uh, Mass Effect Andromeda as well another game that's quite demanding which is why I've chosen it as you can see here there's dips below uh, 60 frames per second but this is with HDI enabled as well so I'm very very happy with this this is just like another uh, bonus to owning this monitor so um, it's about time NVIDIA did something um, like this. Uh, they are quite selfish, but uh, good to see that they're uh, embracing the open standard and it's uh, long past you. So let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section below. If you've got this, if you've got a FreeSync uh, compatible monitor with a NVIDIA graphics card, how's your experience been? Apparently, this will only work up to the uh, nothing below the 980 Ti, I believe. So 1080 Ti, RTX no, 2000 series, and 980 Ti possibly. Anything below that, it won't work. So And it has to be over display port as well. So um, let me know how your experience turns out and what monitor you're using as well. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.